Hello friends, uh, today we will see uh, 3D Max 2014 um, uh, have a new uh, features and very strong uh, new features they have came with uh, like one of the best features I, I really like uh, that is populate uh, because uh, in walkthrough in interiors in, in walkthrough basically we we have to get a third party uh, plugin for it to simulate a crowd and it really takes uh, really takes a, a large amount of time <coughs> to uh, render those things like if, if uh, like you see the walkthroughs in 3d walkthroughs basically the the men and people are there in the uh, area so they are very tiring process to do all those things but now 3d max 14 has came with a very nice features called populate and uh, yeah we'll see this how to uh, how to do this uh, i'll make I'll, I'll go to populate it's it's on here it's basically a it's a ribbon uh, thing uh, or you can just click on populate uh, first i'll go to create flow now this is this is a brush uh, this is a brush and uh, of course uh, in 3d max a brush size we can decrease or increase with the same old shortcut that is press shift on keyboard and press control and just left click it will increase it will increase and it will decrease the brush size or you have an option over here called width so by 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 doing this thing you can also increase and decrease the brush size you can increase or decrease the brush size now you can say the width something like this but i i like this shortcut press shift and control just left click you will increase and decrease the brush size uh, so first thing uh, I've taken the create flow I just click over here first click and you will see a type of spline behavior it's a type of spline behavior we can say just click and it will uh, uh, you know um, uh, searching for a second point so I'll just zoom it and I'll go like this then I'll make uh, like this then I'll make uh, or oh, whatever like this 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 you have a turning in uh, walkthrough areas and if you want okay and I'll press escape that is a stop and you will see uh, these lines over here these are the path like people will walk on this path one two three four five six path is there i'll go to modify uh, this is a flow flow and this is a flow points you can you can uh, of course you can change the flow points like this or you can change the flow point like this same as a spline behavior you can say flow segment this is we can say the flow segments the flow segment will be something like this when you will uh, see all those path over here but you will not you will not see any kind of uh, uh, you will not look at any people over here when you play an animation there is nothing movement or something nothing like that uh, for that I will come to the point uh, this is a this is a people density if you increase the density you will increase see you are increasing the these points like these points are people blue male 
red female is the combination over here and if you increase the density the crowd will increase and of course the simulation will also slow so and necessary then only you can increase the density or this is the fine for testing and how uh, like if you want male or female like uh, I personally don't discriminate in between male and female <laughs> so in between uh, I can keep uh, yeah but there is nothing like that male and female in between we can form a different uh, <laughs> oh, fine leave it uh, and this is a direction uh, where where we can uh, uh, change the direction of the crowd uh, from going here to left to right or right to left and here are the positions where we can change the position of the crowd and the samples of the gender we can differentiate the samples uh, you can say seed seed kind of uh, thing and you can say off don't show the lens and you can say show the lens there is no point linger because uh, um, at the end of the day these lines doesn't render in the scene so yeah i'll go to populate again and uh, i'll say uh, simulate but uh, like you know uh, doing uh, that simulate relation uh, you have to see this uh, which kind of figures do you want like uh, high resolution uh, it's uh, absolutely uh, <coughs> realistic uh, texture style you can uh, <coughs> see the textures because when you have a close ups in integer you can say go for high rays and uh, for walkthroughs and go for, go for crowd skin and of course uh, there is a long shot you can say custom skin and I don't know stick figures uh, <laughs> uh, maybe you can use for it uh, this is a show environment objects and uh, toggle between the visibility of low area um, we will discuss this later now we will just simulate and number of frames how many frames do you want to simulate in this this whole scene so by default it's 300 frames because to see how crowd is walking and behaving you can see in 300 frames very nicely I just press simulate now it's happening creating 74 pedestrians and it's uh, will take uh, done so creating these kind of figures in walkthroughs with third-party plugin it's so hard I really thank to Autodesk creating a such a powerful plugin called populate or you know just integrating that populate into the 3d max it's absolutely stunning because just playing the animation it's so fast and smooth with uh, with with happening so much of crowd playing right now so we'll make uh, another uh, another uh, part of it if you want if you want uh, a crowd of people just uh, mingling around uh, your your uh, environment or walk through you'll go again to the populate take create area or you can just drag circular I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take this because this is a very uh, natural just click drag like this you want D type you can create like this like this you can say yeah I'll go to modify A density of people how much you want singles or groups if you go to singles it will give on singles and if you want to go to groups the groups will be interacting with each other I'll say some around this one singles and groups also there groups of threes or twos when you go to threes increase the three and it will go to twos again male and females and uh, orientation of the single single models spread if you want to show the face you can click over here and samples the, the positions where 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 you want singles <coughs> their orientations gender and motion 
now again uh, for for this this part i have to simulate now this is happening very quickly just have to click over or enter just see it how how it's looking now see this is what we can we can take for our walkthrough i'll go in cameras but uh, yeah i want to take a spline first i'll go to left view now i'll go to camera target camera you go to modify change target camera to pre camera and uh, i'm going to animation constraint path constraint clicking this path now you'll see how how our camera is going to look fine this is i want to in this position local move this over here look at the camera this is how we are going to land in people's world called earth this is what yeah thanks for watching my tutorials uh, so for uh, new tutorials and new software updates you can always see keyframes online and of course if you like my tutorial please do comment uh on my videos and uh, of course to stay update for my channel subscribe to my channel called keyframes online thank you